hey, this is Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video we are going to be doing an um, educational tutorial on how to solve basic conversion problems. Before you start watching this video though, you will want to go to our website RegisteredNurseRN.com backslash a metric table and print out a um, printable version of the metric table so you can refer to it and know what's going on with um, how we're getting the metric table conversions because before you solve a dosage and calculations problems you must know the metric table and how um, everything converts because we use that as a basic guide in order to solve our problems and also um, get the worksheets to follow along with this video. So if you go to registernursorn.com backslash worksheets, you can get the worksheet for this video. It's um, called Basic Conversions, so you can sit there and work the problems as I work them. Okay, so let's get started. Our first problem is six ounces equals how many milliliters? Okay, so we're going to set up a problem like this. Six ounces equals how many milliliters? We know that one ounce equals two tablespoons. You know that from the metric table that you've memorized. So you're gonna say one ounce equals two tablespoons. Now we have converted that ounces so we're going to mark out ounces and we're trying to get to milliliters so now we're going to say one tablespoon equals 15 milliliters and I knew that because on the basic metric table and we are told that one tablespoon equals 15 milliliters so we have converted to milliliters so tablespoons is marked out so we are where we wanted to go. We wanted to go from ounces to milliliters. What we will do, we will take everything on the top and multiply it by itself. So we will say six times two times 15 equals 180. We will take everything on the bottom, which is one times one, that equals one. And 180 divided by one equals 180. So, there is 180 milliliters in six ounces. Our next problem is 4,000 micrograms equals how many milligrams? So we are trying to go from micrograms to milligrams. We're gonna set our problem up like this. We say four milligrams, 4,000 mil micrograms. So 4,000 micrograms equals how many milligrams? So looking at our metric table, we know that there is a thousand micrograms in one milligram. So thousand micrograms in one milligram. We have canceled out micrograms, so mark that out. And we have went from micrograms to milligrams, that's our end. So what we're gonna do is we're going to multiply everything on the top, which 4,000 times one is 4,000 and nothing on the bottom so it's over a thousand and then you divide 4,000 divided by a thousand equals four and that is our answer so there are four milligrams and 4,000 micrograms Our next problem is five grams equals how many micrograms? So 
So once again, we're gonna set our problem up like this. Just as the problem says, we're gonna say five grams equals how many micrograms? Okay, so looking at our metric table, we know that there is one gram in a thousand milligrams. Because we are trying to go from grams to micrograms. So we've already converted to my milligrams. And we're gonna say to ourselves, one milligram equals a thousand micrograms and we've already converted with milligrams so we're going to mark that out and we have reached our micrograms we will multiply everything at the top five times a thousand times a thousand equals five million and multiply everything on the bottom one times one is one and when you divide five million to one, you get five million. So the answer is five million micrograms. Moving on to our next problem. Fifty milliliters equals how many ounces? Again, we'll set our problem up just like how they're asking. So we're going to say fifty milliliters equals how many ounces? And we are trying to get from milliliters to ounces. So in order to do that, we must look at our metric table and convert. So, we know that there are 15 milliliters in one tablespoon. And two, and we've already canceled out milliliters, and two tablespoons equals one ounce and we needed to get to ounces. So we're done. We're going to multiply everything at the top. 50 times one times one is 50. And 15 times two is 30. So now what we're going to do is divide 50 into 30. When you divide 50 into 30, you get 1.6666. So we'll round up to 1.7. So 50 divided by 30 is 1.66. And we're going to convert it to 1.7. We'll not convert it, we're just gonna round up. And it's 1.7 ounce. 96 kilograms equals how many pounds? So we're gonna set up our problem just like how the problem is asking us. We're gonna say 96 kilograms equals how many pounds? And looking at our metric table, we know that there is one kilogram in 2.2 .2 pounds. And we've already reached pounds. So we're gonna cancel out kilograms because we've converted to pounds. We're gonna multiply everything at the top. So 96 times 2.2 .2 gives us 211.2. And there's nothing on the bottom except for one, so that'll be one. And when you divide 211.2 over one, you get 211.2. So the answer is 211.2 pounds. Okay, next problem, number six. Two 
20 teaspoons equals how many milliliters? You will set your problem up just like how the problem's asking. 20 teaspoons equals how many milliliters? From the metric table, we know that there is one teaspoon and five milliliters because we're trying to go from teaspoons to milliliters. So one teaspoon equals five milliliters. Teaspoons cancels out. We're gonna multiply everything at the top. 20 times five is 100. Multiply everything on the bottom. There's just one thing, so one. 100 divided by one equals 100. So there are 100 milliliters and 20 teaspoons. Problem number seven. 2,000 milliliters equals how many liters? We will set our problem up just by how the problem is asking us. So 2,000 milliliters equals how many liters? We know by looking at the metric table that there is a thousand milliliters in one liter and we're trying to get to liters. So thousand milliliters equals one liter. Milliliters has canceled out because we've converted already and we're done because we're already where we're supposed to be. So you'll take everything at the top and multiply it. So 2,000 times one is 2,000. And only thing at the bottom is 1,000. Then you will divide. 2,000 divided by 1,000 equals two. So there are two liters in 2,000 milliliters. Okay, our very last problem, problem eight. It asks, how many teaspoons are in five liters? So five liters equals how many teaspoons? Again, you're gonna set your problem up just like how the problem's asking. You're gonna put five liters equals how many teaspoons? I'm gonna multiply. You're gonna say, by looking at the metric table, you know that there is one liter in a thousand milliliters. Liters has canceled out, so we'll mark it out. And we're trying to get to teaspoons. So in order to get to teaspoons, we're gonna to have to convert milliliters to tablespoons. So from the metric table, we know that there's 15 milliliters in one tablespoon. I've already converted. So now we need to mark out milliliters. And we're trying to reach teaspoons. So we're gonna ask ourselves, how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? We know that there is one tablespoon in three teaspoons. So one tablespoon equals three teaspoons. Tablespoons cancels out. So we are stopping because we're where we're, we're supposed to be. We're supposed to solve for tables, teaspoons. So what you'll do is multiply everything at the top. So five times a thousand times one times three equals 15,000. Multiply everything on the bottom. One times 15 times one is 15. And we're gonna divide, so 15,000 divided by 15 equals 1,000. So, there are 1,000 teaspoons in five liters. So that was a tutorial on how to solve basic conversion problems. Be sure to check out um, our more complex problems that you'll get into in nursing school. That is just the basics. Um, whenever you throw drugs in there, um, doctor's orders, it gets a little bit more complicated. But this helps lay the foundation of how to first solve those problems. So please watch the video over and over until you learn and go to our website, registerednursern.com. And 
practice some free practice quizzes and test your knowledge and see how well you've done. So thank you so much for watching and please give this video a thumbs up and have a great day.